Hey everyone, so on this how to, going to be doing um, the injectors. So I've already started, kind of half forgot to record it, but um, what I'll do is I'll show you, put a link up there for doing the glow plugs. It's a similar start, so you've got to get the um, intake pipe from your airbox to the turbo um, off, uh, and then you want to take your intercooler off, um, which is you know a bolt in the front of the intercooler there, one on the back under your clamps with some. Um, uh, multi grips and they lock in so if you look here so they actually lock in so you push them all the way through and then they actually lock um, into each other so that's in the open position so then you can put your pipe um, back on and then you just push that lip out of the way and they close up so once you've got that off um, to do the injectors what we're going to do is undo the first glow plug uh, lead just where it attaches um, and take off the rail. It is easier just to take the glow plug rail um, out of the way to be able to get the return line um, out of the way as well. So I'll do that. So you just take the caps off um, of what I've got here. So if you haven't done your glow plugs and you're doing injectors, you might as well do both at the same time. Um, so have a look at that video as well. So we'll just undo them, and then that the black thing, the rail for the glow plugs just screws out, slides out, sorry. Uh, and then we'll go to the, the next step. So I've taken the rod off for the connecting of all the glow plugs. I've actually loosened list, these off um, so I can get them out the way if I need to. What you need now is your 14mm um, open end spinner. And then what you want to do is crack um, each one of the injectors. Um, before you do this I've actually uh, put some degreaser here, cleaned it and got rid of most or all of the crap as possible. So you clean it up as much as you can. So go through, crack all of the injector pipes. It shouldn't be overly tight. So do them. So we do each one of them, uh, loosen them off. Um, also loosen off the pipe holders or the clamps for the injector pipes and then down here that's the return line um, feed which is from that banjo fitting just there that one that goes down there so just undo that clamp put it up a bit further get that hose off so undo all of them and once I've undone all of the injector lines um, we'll undo the banjo bolts or the return line um, so nuts that are there, so which is from memory about 17 um, it will be, which I haven't got here at the moment, so 17 mil to undo um, those ones. So we'll do all that. Um, the other injector pipes go down the down the back here. Um, there is a clamp for them, I believe somewhere down there, so you might need to undo that just so you can you don't want to bend these as um, well you don't want to bend them at all really so if you can just move them flex them out the way um, a little bit to be able to get the um, to get the injectors out that's what you'll do right so I've done done the uh, return line which is just down there you can see where it's come off so I've undone all the 17 mil bolts that hold the return feed on um, and you just slowly pull it off and I start at the back and you just wiggle it and jiggle it Bend anything, you're just wiggling and jiggling it all the way along, and then it will come out. I'll put that aside, um, and then it's a matter of actually undoing the uh, injectors themselves. So, I'm gonna get down there and do the the, the big nut um, on them. So, you're gonna need uh, your spanner in there to uh, get that off, or a long socket. Um, so you're just going to have to move the inject lines out of the way a bit to uh, to get them off. They're going to be reasonably tight um, to get them off. So that's the next step. Again, just make sure you get no crap um, down there. I've cleaned it and blown it with a blower and stuff like that. So it should be all good. Um, just one note, once you've got your return line feed off, just take the rubber hose off the injector side and just put it back um, on the pump 
and just curl it around. Um, the diesel does leak out of there a little bit, just stops making a mess. Um, so for that, uh, to get the injectors out, 21mm um, deep throat uh, socket. Um, and then you're just going to slowly push the injector out of the way. The injector, the hose. Get it on there. And then, without hurting myself, try and uh, video this and undo it. Um, I've undone one, they're not too bad. There you go. And then, so you crack all them um, off. Once you've loosened them off, they should just come out pretty easy. It's just a matter of, so this one here, undone. And that's the injector. Now there is some, um, I believe they're copper washers um, down there that you need to pick out. Um, as well, so go through um, and undo all of them, and then I'll put them in a bag and take them to high tech. Um, diesel is where I'm getting these ones um, back. That's what the original ones are that I did uh, probably 150,000 k's ago, maybe a little bit more. Um, so I'll take them back to there and get up another uh, renewed set. Alright, so once you've got the injectors out there is a copper seal or washer in there that we need to get out so it is just sitting there loose um let's see if i can get it out and show you now you do need to reuse these generally they'll come in a so you'll get new ones so that's the, the washer, so there's one for each injector. Here's the injectors and that just that washer just sits right on, on that rim there. So you get all of them out and then I'm going to give it a good old clean. I'll turn the engine over, put some cleaner down there and clean the threads out as well. And then we'll put the new ones back in. I'll give you all the talk specs for that. Alright, so I've got uh, my new injectors or the injectors reconditioned so they are my original cores and they've been re, uh, redone so I've got see four of them and then they give you all the, the return line washers and the crushable washers that go down the uh, the bottom of the injector also given the new cap now I'm leaving my original caps on there they're not damaged I've talked to um, high tech diesel where I've got them from um, so if there's nothing wrong with them you can leave them in there so that's what I'm doing so I'm just replacing all the washers and leaving those caps in there also they're a bit tricky to get out so I've cleaned it all uh, I've got one um, of the new uh, little washers down there for that first injector um, and then I'm just going to take sorry, actually take the red cap off and I'm just going to screw it in there so I'm going to put them all um, in there do them hand tight and then a bit of torque wrench and then we'll torque them up and I'll give you the torque wrench setting as well. Alright, so we've got all of the injectors in uh, with their um, bottom washers, if you like, um, in there, a bit of seats. Now when it's doing that, so torque wrench, uh, I'll talk is 54 newton meters. So I've got that set, socket on there. It's not very, not very high. Um, now the um, torque setting for the nut that goes on here once the return pipe is on that's uh, 30 and then the actual the union bit here is only about 15 which is going to, have to do with the spanner anyway so um, I'll get them all done up so 54 for the injectors do them up um, and then we'll put the return pipe washers on which are these ones here, they get little holes um, in them, so we'll put those ones on, um, and then we'll put on the return uh, return pipe line. So we'll put that on next. Injectors are done. Got the little washers 
um, the return line washers with little holes in them they are on each one with the nut um, on there uh, a little bit fiddly because these bend a little bit so you just get it all lined up the nuts up by hand so it's all sitting properly these are 30 newton meters to drop so do that now Those done, so I'll just do the, the rest of these um, and then we can then do the actual injector pipes on there and they get done up to 15, which are going to have to be done uh, with the spanner. I haven't got a torque, spent, torque wrench spanner, so we'll just do them up to, but it's about 15, so it's just a little bit of torque, not too much. I'll do that once I've put all uh, them on, I will um, leave the glow plugs out and just turn it over before I do up these unions all the way until diesel comes out and I know I've pretty much will bled the system um, all the way out and that's one thing if you want to clean uh, let's say you put some you know carbon clean or something down in the down into the injector hole um, or this crap down there you want to blow out you pull your uh, ECD fuse or relay out and it actually stops the pump from pumping fuel so you can just turn it over and it won't continue to pump fuel um, over there so which I've done that I've cleaned it so now what I'll do is I'll obviously put that back in put these pipe unions on just a little bit once I know they're clean um, until then diesel starts to come out so I'll just do it finger tight um, turn it over till I know there's diesel coming out and then I'll put the rest of the glow plugs in and we'll go from there Alright, so I've got the glow plugs back in, they're all done up, pipe unions um, all done up. Um, the only thing I've got left to do um, now is just do the return uh, feed line which is down there and then I'm going to um, turn it over, so if I can do that now. I should have connected it before I put it on. I need two hands to jump on the bonnet and jump on the uh, engine to do that. So once that's done, I'm going to turn it over, make sure it starts and runs. Um, you're going to get some codes probably because of the uh, um, in, uh, intercooler being taken off. And there's a couple of sensors on there. Make sure you've got nothing in your intake um, that it gets sucked in. So just look out for that. All right, so here let's go if it's going to start. Well, I haven't started it yet, so. See if there's any leaking. Great, job done. So, so uh, what I'm going to do now is put all the injector, uh, sorry, the intake pipe uh, back on and do all of that. If you want to see how to do that, look at the um, glow plug installation uh, video, which I'll leave a link for, um, or you can find it on my channel. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Uh, just understanding what tools and stuff you'll need. The only additional really tool that you probably need that you haven't got is that 20 mil, 21 mil deep throat um, socket to get the injectors out. Everything else is pretty standard. Thanks for watching. Cheers, buddy.